So hi everyone, my new book Lan Chin in Your Pocket: Beginner's Guide to Building Gen AI Applications Using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash three on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. So hi everyone. Today we will be talking about a burning question around RAG. That is how you can use a persistent vector DB with RAG. So basically, by persistent we mean that we don't want to generate the embeddings for a document. on the go at times the documents are big like you can have a huge database and you can't generate embeddings on the go so you want to use an existing vector db and then use it with rag so you are skipping on the embeddings like creating the embeddings every time you use the rag document so basically first of all what we will be doing we will be creating a vector db using the external document you have and then eventually load that vector db to perform rag fine So let's get started. So for that, you would be requiring these packages alongside the versions. Do remember that LangChain, Chroma DB, all these packages are under rapid development. So do use the mentioned versions only for a uh, for a successful execution of the code mentioned here. Right. So first of all, you'll be creating a vector DB for one of my blogs that I've copy pasted in a text file. So I'm using a uh, hugging face embeddings here. You can use any embedding function. That is, I need to provide the hugging face hub API token. if you have a existing function or if you have a local llm you have a local model like bird you can use that for generating embeddings so the first of all we need to create a persistent client chroma db dot persistent client uh, if you are using chroma db without persistent client you won't be able to save your data uh, database so this is very important the first line and then provide the path lang chain in your pocket i have already executed this path so you can see that in this folder you can have these databases that are getting stored these are all vector dbs and this is the book.txt is the file that i have got now once you have created a persistent client for chroma db rest of the things are quite easy i am using hugging face embedding here as you can see i have also used sentence transform embedding function you can choose anything after using hugging face embeddings i am creating a collection that is chroma de uh, chroma demo 3 collection can be taken as a table table name that we have for rdbms i have already explained a lot of things in a previous video on persisting a vector db so you can check that out Uh, now I'm loading this particular file book.txt and then adding it to the collection, adding it to the particular table that we're creating. Chroma de demo three, document equals to data, embedding equals to embedding dot embed query x for x and data. So basically, for each line we are creating an embedding and then pushing it to the collection. So this was about vector db. So if you want to go into more details of this code, you can refer back to my previous video on Chroma db as well as on persisting a vector db. Now once you are done, now comes the important part. Once you are done with collating the collection, one of the files will get generated in the folder that you have given. Now you, we need to use this particular persisted vector DB with the RAG framework. So RAG framework, what it does, it helps to attach the LLM with the external context. So here we'll be attaching the LLM with the vector DB around the blog that I have written. So here I'm declaring the LLM that I would be using, Hugging Face Hub, uh, Flan Alpaca Base. It is a very mediocre LLM. So as you will see, the results are also not good. But eventually, this is just for demonstration purpose. If you use a model like GPT 3.5, GPT 4, or Claude, the results are pretty good. I have already used it and mentioned in my book as well. You can check the results there. Now, while loading, this is the important line. Here you can see that Chroma. We are not doing any text pre-processing. So in the previous uh, doc, uh, demo that I've showed on Rag, I was doing the text pre-processing, loading the text. all here only but right now we have a vector database that is already been done for us so we will be creating a chroma object embedding function equals to embedding this is the embedding function hugging face embeddings only uh, that we declared earlier persist directory is the name of the directory where we have stored the vector db in the first step and collection name chroma demo 3 so in most of the uh, solution that are provided on the internet people are missing on the collection name you need to provide the persisted directory as well as the collection name that you have given in the first step once you are done your retriever is ready then we need to create a retrieval qa chain we are providing the llm the chain type and docs is dot as retriever that's it now your vector db is all set to go now you can ask the llm questions about the book and it will be able to answer you it is giving a very generic answer because it's not of the greatest quality But if you are using a better LLM, you will get good, great results. And if you are not familiar with RAG, I will suggest you to go back to my previous video on how RAG works. I have also demonstrated how RAG can work with different types of databases, be it videos, be it JSON, be it text files. And then kindly use this one for your real world. This is more towards real world problems where you can have big databases coming in 
and eventually you can't generate embeddings on the fly and you want to use rag with your existing databases this is a important problem for which we have a solution now persisting the vector db and then loading it thank you so much do check out my book uh, the description is the link below